There's more NAI football to talk about, and we look at D2 and NAI volleyball today on Midwest Sports Now. Not all of the NAI football games this weekend were played on Saturday. Due to weather in the Dakotas, the game between Waldorf and Mayville State was postponed until Sunday. And that seemed to be okay with Waldorf. The Warriors dismantled the Comets 63 to nothing with a record-setting performance from quarterback Bo Joseph. The senior was 26 of 38 passing for 450 yards and seven touchdown passes. The marks for passing yards and touchdowns thrown set school records for the Warriors. Waldorf is now 4-2 overall and has a big matchup with Dakota State this Saturday in Forest City for homecoming. The Northwestern Red Raiders volleyball team is the lone undefeated team in the NAI with a record of 20-0. Northwestern is ranked second in the country with the next national poll coming out a little more than a week from now. And at that point in time, the Red Raiders could find themselves at the top of that list. Three big matches are on tap, though, between now and then. The Raiders face number 22 Dort at home on October 16th and then take on and take to the road number eight Midland on October 19th and at number 11 Jamestown in a match that was rescheduled for October 21st. If Northwestern comes through that unscathed, it would almost certainly be number one in the national poll and would definitely be in the driver's seat for another GPAC regular season championship, the fourth in seven years that would be for Northwestern. Kylie Smith was a setter extraordinaire on Saturday for the Southern Nazarene Crimson Storm. The storm ultimately came up short at home against Henderson State in five sets. But Smith recorded a school record 67 assists in the loss and spread the wealth as five players had at least 10 kills apiece. The loss was a heartbreaker for Southern Nazarene, though. It went the distance and beyond as the storm were up 10-7 in the fifth set, but the Reddies rallied, tied things up at 14 apiece, and ultimately won 19-17. And the AVCA Division II poll came out today. Nebraska Kearney, now 16-0, has solidified its spot in the number three position in that poll. Washburn has moved up to number four in the poll, and the MIAA rivals will meet on Tuesday night in Kearney in a huge match. And after its loss to Kearney, Central Missouri has won three straight and is also in the top ten, coming in at number nine. The Jennies also have a big match against an MIAA rival up the road at Maryville against number 14, Northwest Missouri State. Also in the top 25 this week in the D2 poll from the MidwestSports.net area, Wayne State in at number 11, Rockhurst at number 17, and Upper Iowa at number 19. This has been Midwest Sports Now. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching, and please do like and share and subscribe to this channel, Midwest Sports Net. God bless you, and have a great day.